Hey guys, this is Diabetic Anonymous here with some more awesome hand movements and showing you how to make turkey chili, one of my favorite things to make. Now let's get right to it. Here are the ingredients. Now a lot of different ingredients and of course we're going to be making our own chili powder. We're going to start with opening up our turkey out of the package and just take out that uh, nice packet of gravy that comes with it and uh, we're not going to use that for this. And we're also going to take off the, uh, the, the netting. D don't need that for that. Now just place that in your pressure cooker for about uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, and to make our chili powder, we're gonna make cumin, uh, red pepper flakes, onion powder, cayenne pepper, oregano, uh, paprika, and garlic powder, along with salt and pepper in equal parts. Um, and we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna chop up a whole onion. Uh, just chop that thing up nice and uh, fine. Uh, just need the whole onion in there to make a good amount of chili. This is enough for about me and my uh, me and my fiance uh, to eat for about like two servings and another day or so. It's good stuff. Um, now the peppers you're gonna want a whole bell pepper, just chopped finely up here. Um, the whole thing just gives you a lot of good flavor. It's really robust and uh, full. It just helps you out, get you get you going nicely. And then you're gonna want a jalapeno and an Anaheim. Uh, you want to scoop out the insides of those things and just chop them up really fine as well. Uh, they uh, add a lot of heat and flavor. Um, just chop them up real nice and finely, and add them in with your onion, mix, uh, onion and other peppers, and you'll be you'll be happy you did. Now then, you're gonna take your turkey out once it's done. And uh, it's not going to be fully cooked. Uh, if you notice here, as I cut it open, it kind of gets a little pink and obviously not fully done. That's fine because it's going to sit in the pressure cooker afterwards in pieces and get fully cooked. Um, you know, this kind of happens a lot. And you'll notice that I didn't season it at all. It's another good thing. Now with beans, corn, and uh, your mixture, and your turkey, of course, you're going to add and stir that together in your pressure cooker's bowl. And then the secret to any good chili is the tomato sauce. Uh, just take some stewed tomatoes and uh, emulsify them up with your emulsifier. Or this can be done in a blender. Uh, just to make like a easy tomato sauce. And then you're going to add uh, some apple cider vinegar, just a touch. A little bit of whiskey for smokiness. Uh, some ketchup. Some sriracha. And a little bit of mustard. This will give you just a good little bit of spice and add some nice flavors to your chili uh, so that it tastes good. And then just uh, add that and combine to your to your meat and veg mixture. And then you're just going to use the broth that you make, some turkey, some turkey broth in my case. Um, it makes a delicious white chili. And then just add about half of your chili powder mixture to the uh, uh, pot. Close it up and set it for about 20 minutes on high heat and high pressure. That'll be done and you can serve it up with some cheese in a big old bowl, ready to be eaten and loved for everyone and by everyone. Well, that was awesome, awesome, awesome chili. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm changing up my uh, ordering here of videos. I'm going to put out a video every two weeks or every other week, I guess. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.